School is canceled at Cranston East tomorrow as officials investigate potential high levels of carbon monoxide in the high school building. This comes after several students and teachers said they felt sick at school today. Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Lasciuto has an exclusive interview with a parent who took his daughter to the fire department after she complained of a headache. And Sheena now is live in Cranston with that interview. We spoke with the mayor earlier who says the city is working closely with the school to assess the situation and make sure the building is safe before anyone can go back inside. Now, a parent reached out to me earlier and said he thinks the school should have taken action much before school started this morning. Michael Belasco's daughter is a freshman at Cranston High School East. My daughter called me to pick her up because she said she had a headache and she felt tired, so I took her to the fire station. She's one of at least 40 who reportedly showed symptoms of carbon monoxide exposure Thursday afternoon. At least five to ten cars were pulling up, parents with kids, asking the same thing. Back on Wednesday night, Hasbro Children's Hospital notified the school and fire department that a blood test confirmed that one student there had high carbon monoxide levels. Why did they wait a day to let the parents know? After other students also said they had symptoms that night, fire officials evaluated the building before class began Thursday. The fire department tested early in the morning and still found no evidence of carbon monoxide. Um, and then they've been back several times throughout the day. Another test took place. But many still said they don't feel well throughout the day. Rescue vehicles responded and did tests right outside. Fire officials say no one had abnormal CO levels. Finally, we had to make a decision. We made the decision to close tomorrow and to bring in um, this company out of Massachusetts. And now parents are waiting for answers. She says she's fine. She, we ate. You know, I won't, I, I'll be the one not sleeping tonight. And the school officials tell me that they do intend on being back open on Monday after that company comes in to assess the air quality. And we're also told that the school is working closely with the Department of Health regarding this situation. Reporting live in Cranston tonight, I'm Sheena Lusciuto, Eyewitness News.